The backhand drive is also a strong attacking shot, usually played close to the table. For most players, it's not quite as powerful as the forehand drive because the stroke is a little bit shorter, but you can still get decent power. You can use the backhand drive when your opponent's return is a little high or if the ball has a little bit of top spin or no spin on it. If you play the shot with a lot of arm acceleration, it can be very difficult for your opponent to return. So let's take a look at this shot in action. Here I am playing a backhand drive rally. Firstly, let's look at the stance. As with all strokes, I've got the same basic stance. Legs nice and wide, knees bent, bum out and crouching forward. Ideally, you'll still have your left foot slightly further forward than your right foot. So you can easily switch to a forehand shot if you need to. But it is okay if your feet are more in line with each other. Now let's look at the stroke. For the backswing, my back comes back down towards my waist. I have a little bit of waist rotation, but not as much as the forehand drive. Then my back moves up and forward so that I can lift the ball over the net. My back angle is slightly closed, which helps me keep the ball lower over the net. And my back finishes just to the right of my body. I'm keeping the stroke nice and compact, not doing any unnecessary extra movement. I'm hitting the ball in the middle of my back, so it's only generating a little bit of topspin. I'm hitting the ball at the top of the bounce, where there's the biggest margin to get the ball over the net. And notice how I'm playing this shot in front of my chest. This really is the key to backhand shots, to play in front of the body rather than to the side. So to recap, when playing the backhand drive, you need a low stance, the back comes back towards your waist, then moves forward and up. With the back angle slightly closed, you contact the ball in front of your body, follow through to the right of your body, and then recover again to a central position. A common mistake players make is to play the backhand drive with their right leg much further forward than their left leg. And actually, you'll probably find it easier to play the backhand drive in this way. But here's the problem. Your body is now in a really poor position to play forehand strokes. And because table tennis is so fast, you simply do not have time to turn your body all this way to play forehands, and then all this way to play backhands. So ideally, you want to play your backhand strokes with your feet either in a straight line or even with your left leg slightly further forward than your right leg. You can still play strong backhands from this position and you only need to make a small foot adjustment to then play forehand shots. In this clip, my partner has given me one forehand and one backhand but I have my right leg further forward than my left leg. Now you can see I'm playing the backhand shots fine, but I am struggling a bit with my forehand. In this next clip, I'm turning my body both ways to play forehand and backhand. To begin with, I'm actually doing okay, but I soon run out of position and the rally breaks down. And in this final clip, I'm keeping my left leg slightly further forward than my right leg and I'm playing both strong backhands, strong forehands and my movement is very economical. So this is the stance we should be aiming for. When learning the backhand drive, consistency is again very important. Don't worry about too much power to begin with, you can add that in later. Focus on consistency, aim for 10, 25, 50, 100 backhand drives without error, and when you can do that, you can start adding in more acceleration, which will give you a quicker and more powerful shot. You can also start using your wrist a little bit more. On the backswing, bring your wrist back, and then on the forward movement, you can snap it forwards when contacting the ball. And this will give your backhand drive shots a little more power.
In this training drill, I'm playing two backhand drives cross court and two backhand drives down the line. This drill will help you practice playing the backhand drive to different positions. The backhand drive down the line can be a particularly effective shot against players who like to play forehands from their backhand corner, so well worth practicing. To change from cross court to down the line, all I need to do is adjust the direction of my waist, shoulders and back to point to where I want the ball to go. You can do this drill in different ways. If you want to practice the down the line shot more, you can do one cross court, three down the line. Or you could ask your partner to vary the pace of their shots so you have slow and fast shots to deal with. In this training drill, I'm playing one backhand drive from the backhand corner and one backhand drive from the middle. If you prefer attacking with your backhand, this is a really good drill to do. It will help improve your footwork so you can play backhand drives from a larger area of the table. If you prefer forehand attack, you'll probably want to take balls in the middle with your forehand, but there will still be times when the backhand from the middle will be the better option, so well worth practicing. The key to playing this shot well is to make sure you play in front of the body. Notice how all I need is one small side step and I'm covering both wide, backhand and middle. If you don't move, you're going to play weaker shots. Don't worry about playing too fast to begin with, aim for consistency first. Set yourself targets of 10, 25 and 50 without making a mistake, then when you can do this, then play faster. In this training drill we're playing a backhand drive rally but to any position on the backhand side of the table. It's really important to practice these irregular drills, drills where you don't know where your opponent is going to place the ball. These drills will prepare you for playing matches where you need to react to what your opponent is doing. Because my opponent is placing the ball anywhere on the backhand side of the table, I need to keep an eye on their bat. This gives me a clue as to where the ball is going and look at my movement. I'm getting my body behind every backhand drive. If I were to miss the ball completely, the ball should hit me in the chest. That's how I know I'm in a good position. I think it's best to start this drill slowly, just so you can get warmed up and into a rhythm. Then after a couple of minutes, play a little faster, but be prepared to move and recover quicker.